Things have evolved daily, maybe even hourly, actually. Just last week, participants could sit down and eat a meal inside a senior center. Then it changed to only a brown bag lunch to go. Now, it's only by home delivery. I think the hardest thing is we want seniors to be connected and not be isolated, even though that's what this virus is calling for. At the Meals on Wheels Center in Southwest Portland. Here is two vegetarians, which we have in here as well. Norman is a volunteer for Meals on Wheels people, and he's picking up his bags of meals that he'll deliver to homebound seniors. Just take what about one person at a time, and we should be all right. Every meal hand delivered to the door, no interior interaction and limited to a six foot distance in between. Yeah, so do you want me to just put it there? Or? Usually they get a big hug, stand around, chat for 20 minutes, see how they're doing, and it, it really is a friendship. So now six feet away, no touching, it's a pretty quick interaction to make sure nothing happens that can harm either person. The nonprofit serves 4,500 clients throughout Clark, Washington, and Multnomah counties. And as the virus spreads and more and more seniors stay in, Suzanne Washington expects that number to grow. So I think one of the biggest things we're going to need here in the short future is donations through our online system so that we can produce more food, produce more meals, feed more and more people who are calling us every day. Caroline Sullivan was first on Norman's route today. You're so handsome. Thank you. It really is wonderful. I mean, it's odd because I haven't been going out much at all, and now it's so strange to think of it. And I'm just so grateful that Loaves and Fishes has our Meals on Wheels people have been able to figure out something for us. Meals on Wheels people has also changed their delivery schedule, going from five days a week down to three, but still delivering those five crucial meals. So, for instance, on the Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule, it's two on Monday, two on Wednesday, and one on Friday. And on the off days that they don't deliver, they'll do wellness check phone calls. That way they can keep in contact with everybody during this time. In Vancouver, I'm Devin Haskins, KGW News.